you get to this segment and then Bianca Belair starts kicking off about it and saying like, you know, uh, Rhea Ripley's going out there challenging Charlotte when I'm about to beat her at TakeOver Portland. So it's not even going to be Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte at Mania. It's going to yeah. be me versus Charlotte at Mania. It's like, okay, you've clawed a little bit. You've clawed a bit of my interest back mm-hmm. now. And then they're like, Charlotte comes out and says, Bianca Belair, you're, you're an amazing athlete. You're not as good as I am. Uh, but you need to stand over there while I talk to Rhea Ripley. Mm-hmm. Bianca Belair does this amazing sell. Like, such a good sell. Charlotte does that, puts a hand in her face, and Bianca's like, oh, no. <laughs> and no, just, she yeah, didn't. Yeah, <laughs> stands in the background, just giving it all, giving it large as Rhea Ripley comes up and then um, ends up in this face-to-face with Charlotte. And I really like this as well from Rhea because you would assume that Rhea would also just be palming off Bianca Belair because yeah, she's so yeah, confident yeah. she's going to beat her. But Rhea's like... No, 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 no. I'm, we've got, we're going to tear each other to pieces at Portland. But mm-hmm. there is a saying that we have here. We are NXT. And it's like the, um, the red mist descends on both Bianca and <laughs> yeah. Rhea. They're like, and then the programming kicks in. And yeah. they're just like, Maul Charlotte, she's not from here. Like, <laughs> and they just destroy her. It was great. Yeah. And then they have the face off. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's, that's a really good way of NXT to be like, what is important for us is our pay-per-view next week. Yes. And not... WrestleMania, mm-hmm. that will be important after next week. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll build to it from there. I really like the sense of brand loyalty that they've got because mm-hmm. it really builds off. It means that almost means that Survivor Series kind of means something. Yeah. When NXT continues to be like, no, we're, we're still NXT. We put NXT above Raw and SmackDown and whatever plans you have on Raw yeah, and SmackDown, yeah. we don't care because we're NXT and we're awesome and... What I like about all of these stories that they've got right now, and and in general in NXT, is it's always about who's the best and who wants to be champion. And that's pretty much every story they've got Mm -hmm. is, I want your belt, or I don't like you, I think I'm better than you. And that's all their stories. And when Charlotte comes in and says, oh yeah, we can fight at Mania or, you know, all that stuff. And they're like, well, yeah, sure, whatever, WrestleMania, we don't care, we've got Portland coming. Um, We're busy. We're busy. We've got got Portland coming, guys. I can't and even think about that till next week. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Charlotte. I can't my, even. I can't even. I can't even. My, my diary's just too too full right now. I'll deal with you later. Um, but yeah, to, to have Rhea Ripley just be like, sure, we can have our thing later. But me and Bianca, we're gonna tell, tear ourselves apart later. It almost paints because Bianca's been pretty much a heel since mm. War Games. It almost paints her in a more babyface like fashion which almost links into what you said last week of this being Bianca's last match on NXT to show that she still has that kind of brand passion as well it could lead to that kind of hero send off at the end of her match to then get the standing ovation from everyone and then Bianca could go do whatever it is she wants to do it does make me wonder as well if they're just going to do like some triple threat at some point with Mm. Rhea Charlotte and Bianca because great like who also had the big run in the Rumble? Mm-hmm. Bianca Belair. Who yep. did Charlotte tip out of the Rumble? Bianca Belair. Mm-hmm. Like, there is story built here to play on. Absolutely. And if, if, Charlotte, if sorry, Bianca is going up to the main roster, that's a really good reason to have her and Charlotte immediately go into a brilliant feud. Yeah. Up until, like, Elimination Chamber. Because you just go, well, here's the story. Mm-hmm. She's now got in my face on NXT and disrespected me and, like, tried to put herself in front of me for the championship. And you tip me out of the rumble, but I'm better than you. Like yeah. this, ah, oh, it's so, it's so, like, it's so perfect. It's, so, it's, it's like an onion. It's got layers. Yeah, I love or it. Like I'm, Shrek. <laughs>